Welcome back to my channel. I am Adorkable Rachel, and it's time for another episode of Rachel Reviews, so let's just hop into it. It's another franchise movie! The Predator is the fourth film in the Predator franchise, and it's actually the sixth film if you count the Alien vs. Predator films, and some people do not. In fact, the Predator movies are apparently just like the Alien films, except for they take place on Earth. And hey, I love a majority of the Alien films, so why not give this franchise a try? Yeah, um, I have a little bit of a confession. I haven't really seen any of the Predator films until now, and I kind of went into this movie blind. Please don't tell anyone. In the new film, a Predator comes to Earth, and a former army ranger comes in contact with it and its technology. His son also finds the technology and starts to learn about it. The army ranger is sentenced to spend some time in a military hospital along with a bunch of other vets, but while on their way to the hospital on a bus, they all come in contact with the Predator again, and the vets decide that they should get together and take it down for good. And also, there is apparently an even bigger, better Predator that's hunting down the first Predator. Okay. So what I really didn't expect going into this movie is that apparently it's kind of a black comedy. I always thought these kind of movies were action thrillers. Is this a common thing in this franchise or is it just this one movie? But then it's also interesting because unless there's a battle going on, the movie doesn't really feel like it is a comedy. I mean, it's light, but there doesn't seem to be much to laugh about unless there's someone battling someone else. In the first few minutes of the movie, we get our first kill from the Predator, and this guy is hanging down from a tree, upside down, and he's got blood and intestines hanging out of him, and I gotta say, I have mad respect for this movie because it is just so unapologetic with its exaggerated gore, and it's actually kind of amazing. Not that I enjoy that sort of thing normally, but when a movie like this just gets so over the top and ridiculous and creative with its kills, it's it's really hard to not laugh at it. I have not seen a movie this creative and this funny with gore in it in a long, long time. And I really couldn't help but eat it all up. No pun intended. I also really like a lot of the special effects in this movie. So much of the spaceships and the alien technology just looks so cool. But then there's also moments where I swear, I swear the predators are not computer graphics and they're actually there. And also, I don't just mean the predator with the mask on. I mean like when we see a predator and it's full face with all the prosthetics and the detailing. I swear it's right there. It's a little weird though because some of the other smaller alien characters in this movie, they're clearly CG. CGI, but then when you see the Predator, they look totally real. The characters in this movie, honestly, they're not that interesting. Olivia Munn plays a biologist who was originally brought in to study the Predator, but then she eventually joins the vets to bring it down and kill it. At first, she seemed like she was going to be this really kick-ass character who was going to take care of business and be the brains behind the whole operation, but then as soon as she joins the vet, she just turns out to be a character who shoots everything. and. That's really all she does. And her personality is just so bland and forgettable. Guys, what happened there? And like I mentioned, there's a bunch of vets in this movie who are originally going to the mental hospital, but now they all team up together and they're all quirky and have their own little weird personalities and they're comedic, sorta. Yeah, they, they kind of work in some moments, but not in a lot. I just kind of feel like I remember their quirks more than I remember their personalities. But I mean, Keegan-Michael Keel was pretty cool. I mean, he was really go hard or go home with his performance. Yeah, if I had to choose, he was probably my favorite out of all of them. And at one point, one of the vets actually does say, get to the choppa, but it's not with an Austrian accent. But, but I still knew that reference. I may not have seen the other movies, but I do know that one line. But again, don't tell anyone. And I don't know if this was brought up in the other movies, but one running joke in this film is a lot of people involved with this operation keep on mentioning that Predator is not really the right title for this alien. A predator normally kills for food or personal gain, whereas a hunter just kills for sport, which is apparently what these things tend to do. So then the proper term would be hunter, right? And again, this is the first Predator film that I've seen. But please don't tell anyone. So I don't really know. Was this like a jab at the franchise or was this their way of being self-aware? Because it did kind of take me out of the movie a bit. It made me think, yeah, why are we calling this thing a Predator? Why don't we call it a hunter? Does Predator just sound cooler? And the filmmaking really felt lazy at a lot of times, mostly because of the tone confusion. But one thing I did notice that really stuck out in my mind was that a lot of scenes just kind of 
lacked intro and establishing shots. Like the way that we're introduced to Olivia Munn's character. It starts with a bunch of shots of dogs in a park, and then we hear her character name being called, and then the very first shot of her is her looking to see who's calling her name. And then they just leave, and the officer says, don't worry, we'll take care of your dog. Without us really knowing which dog was hers. Okay, so why all the dog shots? And why couldn't there have been a shot of her before they called her name? Because you framed it like we were supposed to know who this character is. That was really weird, movie. Oh, but then things got really weird in the last 20 minutes of the movie because we kind of go from this like really mindless but still fun kind of romp to a really lazy movie in the end. The anticlimactic climax is just really not what I would have expected after this journey that we just went on. Really? That's it? That's what we get after this intense gore fest journey that we've been on? And there's a really, really lazy transition to a scene that just really lazily wraps things up. A character or two gets insultingly ignored. And of course we get to the final scene that implies that there will be a sequel. Actually apparently two. There's like two in the works, apparently. Well, the last part of the movie is a letdown and there are a lot of weak setups and executions. But hey, at least the gore was fun. This movie, it's a turn your brain off entertainment. Which I don't think is an excuse to say it's any less bad or anything, but it does mean that there is a lot of stuff in the movie that doesn't have much to do with the narrative that's pretty entertaining. There's a lot of moments in the movie that are a lot of fun and you cannot help but laugh at just how ridiculous it is. And it does have some serious moments too, but those do feel oddly out of place most of the time. I mean, this is a movie about a threatening alien who comes to Earth and just will kill, kill, kill. You'd think that those serious moments would just be more effective, but unfortunately they're just not really. In all honesty, this is not a good movie by any means, but if you go for the action and the gore, then you'll definitely get a lot of that. And if that's your thing, then this movie will probably be entertaining, but if that's not your thing, eh, you're not missing much. So those are my thoughts on the Predator series movie, The Predator. So now I want to know, what did you guys think of the movie? Also let me know, should I check out the other Predator films? Are they really that good? Should I check out the Alien vs. Predator films? Also let me know, what's your favorite Predator movie? And are there any other movies or TV shows or trailers coming out soon that you want me to review? Well go ahead and leave your comments below. Be sure to like and share. And if you're new and like what you saw here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also be sure to hit the little bell button down there to get notified when new stuff comes out. Because 